<laughs> there you go. Hidden but found. Astro blip. <laughs> Destruction. Do 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 So, in general, they do nothing. But it was in their description that they might be just uh, transmitting the hiss uh, signals or some somehow try to to maybe invade more corpses. <laughs> Not corpses, but people, actually. Because they invade real living people. So we need to go somewhere up there. Okay, it's an alert, and I'm not gonna go right back in. Oh, there's a mod. Spin rate of fire boost. Okay. Okay, Dr. Darling's office and dimensional research. Wow, okay, this is blocked, so we were, we're gonna go upstairs, I guess. But first, a box. Hello, weird old man, welcome back. How is your day? I believe we are in almost similar time zones, so how is your morning? Okay, let's go up and let's check what's there. I think it might be something interesting in Dr. Darling's office. Because he's such a darling. Hmm, okay. No jumping up there. Ah, shit. There we go. Gotta get that health back. Okay, so there's gotta be more of them. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna pop these. And weird old man, I just woke up, slept for 16 hours. Wow. That is a sleep I... I never had. I would actually like to experience that once in a while. I think I slept yet again for like maybe five. Something like that. That's mostly what I get. At least that's what my Fitbit tells me. How do you feel? Do you feel refreshed or do you feel actually more tired? What the hell? That was a grenade, but who threw that? button that's where a wrong button gets you okay I'm going down there again because I need that health are you kidding me Let's try to get up, shall we? 
I think they might just uh, respawn over and over. He was on a bloody chair. Listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. <laughs> we do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. <laughs> okay. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. <laughs> Great. One day that classified not water might pour in and you'll be glad you got a got an HRA keeping you afloat and if you don't have an HRA don't worry it'll be uh, quick and painless damn <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding and he's wrecked he's just wrecked Okay, weird old man. Actually, I actually feel refreshed. I did stay awake for more than 24 hours yesterday. Oh, so maybe that is the reason for it, but good thing. I don't think I will have the available circumstances and place where I could actually have a 16 hour rest. And also <laughs> okay. Also, we have a dog, right? So, in general, he does not let you sleep for that long. We're gonna have a lot to read. Okay. Let's start reading. Examination of paranatural topics, the astral plane and objects of power. Summary. The Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle determined by Jungian archetypes and the collective subconscious would be inhabited by paranatural energies uh, when an AWE occurred in its vicinity, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the redacted and the astral plane to that item making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of power were placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane and the objects were left behind as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully the truth will emerge. Refer to the file for full report. Hmm. Interesting. Astral Plane Counter Essay. Alternative perspective on objects of power and their astral connections. Summary, Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the redacted, an entity or a group of entities that we have little information on or little that I am allowed to access. In his written reports he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power, the redacted, the astral plane and the oldest house itself. His work supposes these links are in it, a fact ingrained into the very redacted of objects such as the hotline or the service weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to the redacted, but had that connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with the redacted? Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline will result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of the role? 
why do we assume this involvement by the something is a natural fact and not something more redacted? <laughs> redacted. <laughs> right, True? Hello, True. I hope you are doing great today. Oh my. I have to admit, my eyes are still adjusting to this amount of text. <laughs> For some reason. Yeah. I'm gonna have a sip of my tea, if you don't mind. There is a lot of redacted stuff in this. Redacted. Okay, we definitely picked up more. Resonance theory. Utilization of paranatural elements. Resonance. Confidential. Summary. Resonance? It's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us. Through us, from us, but what if the vibration is conscious? What could a force like that do? Redacted opened the door to a uh, something <laughs> I've called something. The something emits a force that is far beyond the forces we've previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder. Is resonance the key element in all altered phenomenon? AWEs, altered items, objects of power, do they share a common something that we've yet to discover? We can harmonize control points. Uh, what else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if resonance has been the answer this whole time? Refer to the file for full report. Interesting. True. How is the game going? It's great. It's a great game. And actually, I should recommend it to you because you have a 20, 2060 or 2070 graphics card so you can actually try the the RTX <laughs> I don't have those reflections with my 1080 and as far as I know it looks awesome when you have RTX on <laughs> so that's that indeedy how is the how is the day for you true what have you been playing still in Minecraft <laughs> Oof, I didn't know that. Yep. It's one of the newest RTX enabled games. It still looks gorgeous, but I believe I have seen another streamer stream it just the beginning of it and even the first lobby was just it was awesome. <laughs> the reflections were all there. All the reflections you can think of. All right. Anything else we picked up? Correspondence. Darling, budget request. Dear Dr. Darling, I suspect my colleague Dr. Harrington has already contacted you asking for an increase in her department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel, all fuss but no results. Parakine what? Parakinesiology has always been the stronger department. More breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think what those additional resources could do for an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a fan of you're a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown on your desk. Yours in admiration, Dr. Abraham Lewis. <laughs> well, that's a bribe right there. True, yep, I should have been paid yesterday, but because it was a holiday mail, wasn't delivered. So I didn't get my check, but I will get it today, hopefully, then I can finally get something else to play. <laughs> That's a good plan. That's a good plan, true. So this game is still costly. It's it's really priced as a AAA game. Maybe it can even be considered a AAA game because the, the mystery, the story of it and the graphics is just glorious. I have to admit it, but it's 60 bucks, essentially, still. Because it's a new one. Weird old man. Ah, our dog came to greet me. I guess she heard I woke up. Ah, what kind of dog do you have? My, <laughs> my little corgi rascal is somehow tired these days as I am. Because the temperature has shifted. The weather has shifted as well. It was really cloudy and rainy yesterday. And it's a little bit more sun today. But the temperature dropped from those 27 to 30s to around 20s. 
I guess it was just 15 something in the morning. So it's really a shift. And <laughs> he was sleeping next to my bed uh, in the morning. And when I woke up, uh, he just barely noticed me. And then he just bulleted straight to the bathroom where there is no light, you know, darkness and the tiles. So he just went and hid in the bathroom and slept. He's still sleeping somewhere, probably in the kitchen or in the bathroom again. <laughs> but they're always so cute when they come in and they greet you because they notice that you are up, but they still want to sleep. <laughs> True tempo. <laughs> Don't get Man of Madan. I watched that a little bit. And it's... Um, it just looked weird. <laughs> the story was kind of inconsistent. The, the dialogues were just so shallow. And the graphics was just bad. I would say it really looked, it, it didn't look, look well. It was just an awful game. <laughs> and weird old man, uh, Cotton de Tular, small, white and fluffy. I don't even know that breed. I think I should look it up. <laughs> True, the trailer looks good. The gameplay is trash. Yeah, so that's what I saw. And even the graphics was trash. A lot of the physics were just off the rails and it really looked, it, it just wasn't good. Yeah. Did you see the chat with the Astroneer devs? No. I haven't. Is that a new one? No, I haven't yet. I actually fired up Astroneer a few days back and because I wanted to get that palette and something, an advisor from the solo, from the Remembrance event of the Apollo landing on Moon. But I found out that my old save is gone. Because, yeah, that went away with the, my disc crashing. So I literally had to play the game for, I don't know, two, two and a half hours to get to the solo as the second planet or moon. And then I found out that it, it randomly generates the planet. So I I just had, didn't have the time and will to go looking for, the, for that Apollo module. I don't know if the... If the event is already over and they will remove it or I will still be able to find it later on. <laughs> Astroneer is coming out for PS4. They are updating the game and they are close to dedicated servers. Oh! <laughs> well, dedicated servers can fix a few stuff and that console stuff, I guess that was to be expected. I already wonder how will the multiplayer work on PS4 if they will still enable it, if it will be more stable. Anyway, the game is still pretty. If you don't have Astroneer, <laughs> just check it out. Buy it, play it. It's a neat little game. Can be frustrating at times. And it also kind of demands you to, to check the wiki because it doesn't really hold your hand. You will not be told what you need to bring where and what you need to, to get for what. So maybe some some aspects of the game you will need to learn by Googling it. But other, other than that, it's a very enjoyable game. It's a neat one. <laughs> so for now, it's coming out only for PS4. Hmm. I guess other consoles might follow. <laughs> Switch, right? What if they release it for Switch? Okay, so let's read up. Uh, multimedia. These videos tend to be different from what we saw on the screen, so let's check it out. I've been fielding questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the hadron resonance anyway? I... Fuck. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements or 
listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. <laughs> we do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as, uh, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and you'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. That actor really did his role well. That was that that emotion, those those ticks, those scratches, it was just it was awesome. You can really believe that he is completely tired and worried about something. And true, so well it's already been out on Xbox, but now that it is releasing on PS4, that means new players and with dedicated servers they could do a lot with it potentially. Do you think dedicated servers will be available for, for console play? Let's see. Let's see what they do with it. Because I guess it will be easier for them to implement for PC players. But dedicated server for console, for console players? I am not sure. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Good chat. Thank you for the info. Uh, loadout. <clears throat> we have some other mod. Rate of fire boost. Okay, I guess we're still under attack, right? We will have a lot to, to do when we get out. Okay, there's nothing else in here. Just the balls. Oh, I thought there will be the, the rule of three. But it's not. Is it him, maybe? Kind of tricky to navigate with this because you need to keep pressing E and then you need to move around with the WASD. That's not an easy concept to do. Shoot more of them, but down below, I guess. Okay, that was okay. Okay, uh, true. 
Can you change key bindings? Maybe switch that to a button on the mouse. Uh, well, rather than E. That's the fact that you shoot with the with the left one and you zoom in or aim with the right one. And I really don't wish to do that with the middle wheel. I don't have another button on my death adder. <laughs> so it's just two button. Well, yeah, there are two on the side. Hmm. I don't know if that will work. Movement combat. Oh, it's actually... <clears throat> shield. Oh, there is shield on it and evade. But evade can be done with control. Hmm. Let me try it with that middle wheel. Okay, so we will be trying it with the middle wheel. Unless it will be... <laughs> <laughs> very, very bad. We can try it with the middle wheel. Seems kind of odd, because they are always respawning. Okay, this is odd. I don't know where we are going. But maybe we can check it out a little. I feel like when I chat, nobody else does. Ah, not sure why. It happens a lot in the smaller streams. People like to just... Just watch. <laughs> Some people just love to lurk. Ashtray maze. Um, this is for another time. This is definitely for another time. <laughs> but it's okay, True. You can chat with me. I'm fine with that. <laughs> if you don't mind, you know. Because I'm the one to chat with you. <laughs> or with anyone. It's always lovely to have a bit of conversation here because it keeps my energy up. That was intense. Nice, but intense. You should see how well I'm doing in ultra hardcore Minecraft. <laughs> I imagine that laughter. <laughs> I just saw you there sitting and just doing the madman laughter. <laughs> so, ultra hardcore Minecraft. How does that work? Tell me all about it. <laughs> How many times did you die? Hmm. 
Hmm, I'm trying to figure out where we need to go. 